the problem with unforced errors is, is that you have no control over them. They're almost like Christmas presents. Sometimes you get a couple, sometimes you get a lot. So staying back and just hoping the opponent is going to miss is really no way to play a tennis match. Your job is to force the opponent to miss. And by climbing the ladder, which is moving up into the court, your number one thing you want to do is go deep. And most winners from the back of the court, two out of three of the winners are going to be forehand. So you want to match your forehand up against your opponent's backhand. You want to push them back early in a point and use depth. Typically, most points are going to gravitate and kick into the ad court where somebody is trying to take their forehand to the opponent's backhand to get that advantage, get the weaker ball, and then move forward into the court. There's a pattern well that I call the 2-1 that I've discovered that nearly almost every pro on tour is trying to run every single point. So the first shot is going to go deep to the backhand side, and it's not too close to that single sideline where we have the opportunity to miss in the alley. It's a pretty safe shot, and the number one uh, element of that is depth. That backhand is going to be a neutral shot. It's going to come back cross court. The player moves up into the court, improves their position, and now we've got better geometry to attack from on or inside the baseline, and we go wider. So the second shot of the 2-1 pattern is to, the first one is to push back, the second one is to take out wide, and then that opens up a hole over here in the juice court for the third shot to be a winner. Sometimes it's a 2-1, sometimes it may take a 3-1. Sometimes if you're a little luckier, it may even be a 1-1. But opening holes and hitting unspectacular winners is, uh, is really the best way to do it at all levels of the game. So this pattern emerges first and foremost with depth, pushing the opponent back. You are then using direction from better court position to take the opponent out wide. And both of those elements force a lot of errors in tennis, which is the number one way you want to win points. If the rally keeps going, you've now got a big target to hit that winner or even force an error from the opponent on the run. So there's a lot of different benefits that you can have in a very safe environment to win a lot of points from the back of the court.